What's up, guys? Welcome to the Toxico Podcast. I'm here with my two guests, Jessica Keenan and Tehran, some of the funniest comedians that I know in Los Angeles. Uh, we're here to talk some more toxic relationships. This is Toxico with Renee Vaca, but first, some words from our sponsors, guys. Weed Cellars is the first of its kind. No other alcohol brand in the world spans in all alcohol categories, including wine, spirits, and beer. The Weed Portfolio compromises eight wine varietals, two beer categories, and a high-scoring, award-winning straight bourbon whiskey. Our Italian sparkling wines have been a huge hit, scoring 92 points. Weed Cellars still wines range in scores from 90 to 92, according to Tasting Panel Magazine's publisher, editor-in-chief, Meredith May. Our whiskey is a 93-point double gold sip award winner and created under the watchful eye of master distiller, Mark Weaver. And our beer selection consists of Weed Light Lager and Weed Golden Ale that are both brewed and bottled at Alamo Brewery in San Antonio, Texas. To check out their store and purchase their award-winning line of products, look for them in your local liquor store. This show is brought to you by the Comedy Showcase, the iPhone app that you need to have if you are a fan of stand-up comedy. They release a ton of new sets monthly by comics like me. Most of all, your subscription goes to paying the comedians, which is important if you know how the comedy game works with money, guys. All right, guys. So let's go. Say hello, Jessica. Tehran. Hi. Hi. You know what I didn't like? I didn't like how Jessica got a last name and I didn't. I just didn't you get a last, a last name. name. You, don't, you, don't, you don't need a last you name. Tehran Von Garst. See? Your name God, is Tehran. Here, it is Tehran. Like, yeah, I'm nobody... a one-name person, but I Your saw... hat says Tehran. <laughs> yeah, dude, you're chained, Tehran. You're good. Hat says Tehran. <laughs> your Instagram is I am Tehran. Yeah. <laughs> I understand. I'm just saying. Because but you Renee don't need a last name. That's so much cooler. I'm Jessica. Everyone and their mother is named Jessica. Keenan. Jessica Keenan. Right. I but like that's why Keenan. I can't go by my first name is okay, what I'm saying. Okay, I'll accept it. Yeah, I have to go Renee with He just wanted to plug himself as many times as possible. Yeah, right, you, you know it, what? Yeah, Tehran, you know, Tehran, 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 Tehran. When I used to do Laugh Factory shows, he used to tell me, like, hey, when you bring me up, make sure you have the crowd yelling Tehran. Tehran, Tehran, <laughs> before, <And what> before <laughs> you bring me up. So every, every time I brought it up, I, How brought, did you even ta- you I would do my set. I'd be like, all right, guys, I'm going to bring up your host for the show. I'll do the cold open up yeah. at the Laugh Factory. Yeah, yeah. And he'd be like, all right, guys, but before I bring up, yeah, yeah, I want you guys to yell out, Tehran, all right, guys? And the cold crowd would be like, Tehran, Tehran, Tehran. Like, tell that's them what to do. Yeah, that's how, you, that's how you brand. You do it, you, you put that branding out as much as possible. People always talk about my hat. But that's the thing. One time I'm taking pictures. These girls are there. There's a guy who's being a hater. It's like, why do you have your name on your hat? That's so stupid. I'm like, you're wearing Ralph Lauren. That's literally someone's full name. <laughs> yeah. That's not even like his first name. I've that's never... his government name. <laughs> right. Like the Tommy Hilfiger is his entire name <laughs> and nickname, by the way. It's like Thomas Hilfiger. And you were questioning why I like my own name on my hat. Uh, Louis Vuitton, all these brands are just people's names. Yeah. Of course. Tehran. I'm like, wearing Tehran. That's how it works. I'm my own favorite brand. I'm my own favorite team. I like that. Bro, I like that. Yeah, like you should that. just, Aquarius. someone needs yeah. to brand me. Aquarius. I don't know. Jessica Keenan. Yeah. That's not, a, that's not cool, though. Right? <laughs> Very cool. Uh, make the crowd yell, Jessica Keenan. Jessica Keenan. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah. Jessica It's not Keenan. catchy. Yeah. Jessica Keenan. To be very fair, that sounds like something they would yell as they're raiding the state capitol. Like, yeah, right? <laughs> Jessica <laughs> Keenan. <laughs> Jessica <laughs> Keenan. Like, that's it's like capital. Exactly. Hill. That's why I said brand Righty. That's very righty. Yes. Oh, uh, guys. Uh, well, welcome to my uh, toxic podcast. Uh, this is uh, where you know, I've been in a lot of toxic relationships. So. I figured I'm not the only one, and I'm tired of looking like I'm the only one that is weird when it comes down to mm-hmm. when you're being in love or when you're just in that weird situation. So uh, I like to start off uh, by, ex- you know, you guys explaining where you are where you are in your relationship life right now, if you guys feel comfortable with that. I yeah. live vicariously through Renee, to be very honest. So <laughs> Renee is on stage doing amazing... For anyone who hasn't checked out his comedy, his comedy is amazing, yeah. obviously. Thank you. And this isn't just my opinion. NBC agrees. Like, Thank you. the list goes everyone on. Agrees. Comedy Central yeah, agrees. Great. So when you're watching Renee, he's talking about his relationships, and everyone's <laughs> laughing. And, like, you see a glimmer in his eye, he's about to cry. <laughs> <laughs> these are jokes to him. Like, That's these why are so jokes. Good. But everyone's like, oh, that was so funny. He's like, yeah, thanks. Like, he's so sad. <laughs> he's like, oh. Thank you. It was hard for me to say that. So good. And people are like, oh, he's crying because he's happy. It's like, no, he's this close to a mental breakdown. Right. But the that's why everyone relates. A hundred percent. Oh, hundred percent. Yeah. I, I am in L.A. I'm perpetually single. I'm single like what a dollar bill. What does that mean? Bill. What does that mean? 
Okay. So you're not looking for nothing ever. Yeah, but Taron walks around with hot girls just I, like I don't even know how old you are. Following that's the him. thing. It's ambiguous, right? That's I don't the whole even know thing. how my old you are. My, my relationship I don't even know status is ambiguous. I don't know if it, I don't know if you're old enough to be single or young to or like Yeah, what I, I might not even exist. I don't I'm know anything. Yeah, he's just, just like I'm everybody's so Tyler Durden. Like I'm not know. real. I'm a figment of everyone's imagination. But in La La Land, that's what it is. It's Peter Pan. Right? It's, it's we're all in Is that what you would say you are? Like, yeah, you just don't want to settle down? No, actually, I'm open, but I'm open to the right one. Like, as uh, comedians, you met a lot of it's people, not though, easy. And you haven't found the right one. You know, I'm you around met, like, almost a lot the whole of world. I know, I'm around a lot of We've people. We've been in Lebanon together, and, and we're trying to get into this club so exclusive. No one's getting in. Yeah. We, we, I, I'm over here, like, trying to talk. Hey, man, you know, I'm, and then he's like, no, 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 get out of my face. Tehran comes in with his hat and his chain. Hey, and man, I'm Tehran, and, uh, I'm Tehran, and right before the guy says no, he's going to say no to Tehran, the owner of the club comes out, and he's like, Tehran! Just knows him. And, and, uh, and he's like, hey, what the fuck are you doing? Let's fucking, let Tehran in. And that dumb Indian guy he's with. Get him in there. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, hey, I'm in with Tehran! Yo, we literally, that, look, I would love to be in like, Lebanon, this is a, by this the is way. a real And how did, you know that? how did you the know that? The owner him? just, you know, we have, I've, lived a lot of life as a human. You don't have to hide anything from me. I feel like I'm dating you. Like right, I, this right, is like right. the guys it's I used toxic. to date there. I was like, toxic. they're so mysterious, toxic. but really they're it's just like toxic. not telling you anything. Yeah, that's kind of, it's to I, look, and it that's is. the thing. Is, yeah, when we're in a relationship, yeah. I'm the toxic part. Like, I'm going to be very honest. As a comedian, my lifestyle is not easy to decipher. Yeah. Before that, my life wasn't easy to decipher. I don't get easier. Oh, I and I wait. realize that in the situation. I can't I wait to ask that. you these but questions. Yeah. So I'm not Jessica Keenan. Jessica Keenan is marriage material yeah, all the way you're around. You're married, right? She's beautiful. Married, She's married? intelligent. She's lovely. Oh, I dated all I just got wrong. married, too. Yeah, hey, toast, toast. Did you want some wine or some whiskey? I don't drink alcohol. You're a baby. I know, I know, I know. You got married. I got married. I had to. You had to? What do I, you mean? What I was loved her. Okay, hmm. okay, don't yell at me. I just There was a whole storyline, though. There's a whole storyline. There's, there's a whole storyline. There's a storyline that, that I, I know every... I don't know anything. This is why I live vicariously. I see photos of her. She's gorgeous. She's beautiful. She's a wonderful person. And I see the stuff yeah. you post, but I, I've never, like, I seen her. you. I've never seen you two, like, She's a same. beautiful mother as well, and I love her kids. She's great. They're great. They're both great. Oh, oh she got a kid? How yeah. old? Yeah, she's nine years old. Oh, nice. Yeah. Renee has a kid who's nine years old now. <laughs> That's the uh, thing. Renee has a kid, and he's a great... Stepfather. He's a great stepfather. Oh, my gosh. You as a stepfather are so funny. I wanna <laughs> but you know what? I want to see a sitcom. Friend. I know, right? Can we make the sitcom right? of you as a Oh, uh, please. And she's great. You'll see, like, she's, like, a great... She's taking acting classes, too. She's very poetic. She's very artistic. And just like, man, if I ever had a daughter, she's not my daughter, but it's like, if I had a daughter, it would be like, I would want her yeah. to be like this. And it's like, cool, man. You know, I skipped the whole diaper phase. And stuff. I like We're that good. he talks. <laughs> like, I love how he talks and about he, her. He's not only a good stepfather. Here, here's the thing, Renee. Renee's relationship is so amazing. Um, he posts on Facebook. He does comedy bits about it. I'm mm -hmm. on season five, episode 14 of his life. Like, <laughs> My own life, like I'm, so I'm there. Like I'm in. Uh, like, so you I'm just told me you're so open, and then you're like, "Don't worry about it. I can do right, this." And right. I'm like, I can tell that that's right. how he is with relationships. Where girls right. are like, "So what do you think? Uh, what, what do you think about this?" And he's like, "No, no, it doesn't matter." Oh yeah. man, I love I'm talking to you guys. Thing. Do you want to know something funny? I actually, okay. Everyone always assumes those girls, it, all the girls that hang out or at my shows, I have to be hooking up with them. I will never hook up with them. Why? I will never. Yeah, actually, that's, that's, that's one of the. That's the weird thing about Tehran. He's like pimp mentality. He's like he doesn't think about sex. Like like pimps. Have you have you ever? I watched a lot of interviews about pimps. They don't <laughs> I was like I don't know any pimps, yeah, they, but like I imagine they, that they do. Like like, like, like they don't. A lot of pimps in the a lot of yeah. Mex sex. part of uh, India. You're from Renee. A lot of pimps. They don't think <laughs> about sex apparently. And you would think as a pimp like that's what they love. No, they love the money. The money. More yeah. Than sex. You know. Uh, so I'm, is that the mentality you're carrying? <laughs> Here's the thing. Here's the thing about LA. I what I put up there is my priority in LA is my career and what I have self destined to be my destiny, right? This is no. what I want to do. Right. So I didn't come to LA to date you. And because I think that the worst thing a guy can do is waste your time, I'm very upfront, I'm very honest, and I say no. I literally say no. I know this is gonna be bad. It's gonna I've seen this movie, it does not end oh well my for God, you. You're so Let's toxic. Just, Let's yeah. just go. I'm so toxic. All right, let, let's get to the first question, guys. <laughs> let's get because I can talk to you guys all day. Yeah, I love both of you guys. You're like my mom. You're like my big fucking brother, dude. Why are we mom and brother, bro? This you? is my son. I always call him my because son. Because he's like, look at him. We were, come on, dude. You're Latina, right? With, with yeah, the and then my husband's Indian. Yeah, and yeah, I was yeah. like, when I have a son, he's gonna, this is yeah, going to be that's him. That's actually a good point. I apologize. <laughs> he's going to yeah, look like yeah, him. He's my I was son. like, I can already imagine. Hey, I'm your son. Let's get it up. 
<laughs> when I found out Jessica's husband was Indian, you have no idea how much money. Oh, uh, she married for the money. Like, for sure. was like Jessica. She married for the money for I sure. Was Look at that Jessica ring. Jessica for everything. Like, hey Jessica, what are you doing? What right. are you I do was this? like, oh my god, Tehran is actually talking to yeah. me. Bar right. mitzvah show. Like, I loved her at that point. <laughs> Dude, I I can't I can't stop looking at your ring. That's a big ass ring, by the way. But we'll and talk about that in a bit. Talk about in a bit. How much was that, by the way? No, we'll talk about that before. <laughs> we we will uh, go to our first question. What was the most before your marriage, before, your, I don't know, you ever had a relationship. <laughs> uh, let's go with you first. Uh, sure. The most toxic relationship. You don't have to say real name. You don't have to say anything. Oh, just, the most toxic. Like, and, and, and what I mean by asking you what is the most yeah. toxic, like, like. Like an example like, of it? Not, not an example. Just, I mean, you can say an example. Just go off your own your own way. You know, just sure. just give us, like, what was, what about it was toxic? A quick little example story about it. And just, like, you know, just what was, what was I it like? So I need to get the fuck out of here. Kind of. And what was your breaking point with it? Mm, my most toxic was probably the guy I dated right before the guy that I okay. married. Wow. Yeah. Is that always the case? I don't know. I don't know. I've only done it once. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but that guy was just, it, he was just wrong on every, every situation. It was just wrong. It didn't work. And I knew it the whole time. You know, when you're just in a and you're just like, I was constantly saying it. I'm like, this isn't, it was like nine months. Which is so long to be like, yeah. this isn't my person. Yeah. Like he's thing. not, yeah, but just to keep being like, he's not the right well, person. What was it? What do you do? He was just douchey and just like not, he's a not, man? huh? He was a man? No. <laughs> he's That's just a man. man. I have a question and yeah. I don't mean to be personal. No. Was well, he amazing in bed? Yeah. Oh, it's that interesting made it. you bring that up. I know, up. but that sucks. It's not, that it's not, it. That's not what then made it. Then I feel it. like I'm. That's not what made it. But that made her, that made no, her consider toxic staying. toxic relationships, because the guy's giving you nothing else, the sex is that much better because that's all you're getting. So you start that's assigning smart. it to emotional, oh, learning. spiritual. So you're bad in sex. Everything. It's an everything thing. Because mm. you give a lot of stuff. With the, if, you, if someone gets in a relationation with you, I'll be like, oh my God, I'm in a relationship with Teddy. <laughs> <laughs> they just um, have robes yeah, on. Yeah, it's just like, like <laughs> so, so does that mean your dick is whack? I mean, I wish that was the case. I, <laughs> You're just I the like, perfect man. I'm like, a, I'm like a, a treat you like a groupie, but fuck you like my soulmate. I apologize oh. to all the women that mm. I had sex with that made you feel like you're the one. Oh I want to apologize to you oh. now. They're all watching. They're, they're like, thank you so much. <laughs> oh, yeah, she yeah. thought about me. Yeah. <laughs> I've just been waiting for this. <laughs> so, 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 okay, so what, yeah. what, what, what like besides him We just douchey? didn't, we didn't fit, and he was just a dick, and he was just always like, he was like judge. He would always say stuff about my body or like example, just, example, just, just a quick. He example. was like, you need to, you need to do more squats or like he just said shit. He to was me. just like, he was and like, I was like too old to be hearing that, you know. Like I was, I wasn't like like twenty where I like was like so. I was at the age where like I knew that that was not okay, yeah. and I still was like, whatever. Yeah, you can't, you, uh, dude. I can't. Like when people talk to you like that, it's like you gotta, you gotta. Keep I can't it even moving. think about the idea of my girlfriend telling me I'm too fat. I mean, lose weight. Like yeah. Was, uh, but the other time we were hiking, and I'm in front of her hiking, and I'm feeling good about myself. Right. And I know she asked me about my love handles, and I'm like. Bitch, you're looking at my love handle the, the whole time. Yeah. Like, yeah what's yeah, wrong with my love handle? But typically, like women don't like guys. It doesn't really matter. Like pe- women, women are, are way more forgiving. Yes, way yeah. more. Dude, and the guys that say I'm that naked, are never like. I'm, na- I'm they're never the guys that are like six. Dude, I'm naked next to my girl, and I look good when I'm laying down full, dude. But when I get a turn, like to go get my boxes, and I have, like that fat folds, dude. You know that fat's <laughs> folding. I know she's looking like. My God, that's a big fold right yeah, there. Yeah, because this like, guy's. But she ignores it, nails, right? You what do you your say? Nails, you're like, Ugh, like, Ugh. yeah, like, yeah. But women are very forgiving. My my question is, play devil's advocate. Maybe the way he said it wasn't nice. But what if he was saying it for the better no. of you? What if he's saying he it like, hey? And I was like in the best shape when I was dating him too. Damn, so damn. whatever. Yeah, but Renee, this. I'm talking about. So <laughs> <laughs> <Tell> this guy. Hey, just no offense. You're you're in good shape. Like you're amazing, Renee. I'm talking about Renee. What if she's trying to help you? No. That's hilarious. Well, did you you got out of it, right? Did no, I'm get... still in it. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're yeah. Right? No, he's of course I got oh, out of it. Huh, I'm yeah. married. <laughs> married you're to married. a wonderful man. Yeah. <laughs> he's he's like, like really? He's not toxic at all? No, he's the best human being alive. He's cheating on you. Yeah. Hey, like, like, <laughs> I, like I wouldn't know. <laughs> yeah. Oh, really? Like what? Oh, I'm crazy. No, no offense. He's boring. So it's not even if he he's was cheating. Boring, he's, he's not boring. boring. He's no, boring. He's he's cheating. Not, he's he has a boring toxic. job. Yeah, he's cheating on with like it's like he's cheating job. with What's like his friends job? online, and it's like <laughs> we're secretly making an app. Like it's not. <laughs> oh it's not. my god! I so what it. does he do for a living? Uh, he's um a fi- he's in finance. And I that's, don't know. He's, 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 what do you, want? you have the interesting job though. Yeah, I get the job that makes no money. 
So, well, she doesn't have a job. Right? <laughs> exactly. Like, I was he's like, in I, finance. Exactly. <laughs> like, her job is is him. So his his. Bernie's his, like, but we have the same job. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> what? <laughs> Which is a job, right? Exactly. Right, <laughs> babe. <laughs> no. Yeah, so his occupation has to do with his personality. I mean, a little bit, yeah. yeah. Like I could never do that job. I could my never. Wa- None of us. My could. wife said her ex was a dentist, and he was one of the most boring people that she. Oh, but ever dentists been with. are typically like boring people. Like super that. boring, yeah. right? Isn't have you that ever like been a with one? I mean, I've had dentists. Yes. They're dentist boring. Man? Not sexually. She no. Works, oh, she's oh, been to the dentist. <laughs> she's like saying that like, she's oh, we all. Isn't that like a known thing? We all fuck dentists. She's never gone to the dentist and <laughs> well, just been like, wowed isn't by Aren't her they dentist. like number one on like suicide? Really? Yeah, they are. Yeah. Are you serious? I thought everybody knew that. Why? Occupationally. Because they're boring. <laughs> are you serious? Yes. Here's Why point. are you still it's upset? He's going to go call his dentist right now. There's a lot of popping dentists. I know a lot of pop and dentists. Shout out to we don't want to offend the dentist population, I know. right? They're like, They're like, I am not boring. They're like, oh, they they know, they like, know. You heard they, my tooth joke. They killed themselves because they heard you say that. Oh like, my god! Like, no, dude. he didn't even know that. Yeah. You never heard that? Well, I didn't know that. Yeah. All right, so mo- fuck, dude, I didn't know that. No, I feel you're so sad. My, bad for your no, no, yeah, I was like, he's my, my my wife. Uh, she she was not kind of dating this guy that was a dentist, and then she met me and kind of stopped dating that guy. Yeah, so smart, smart on her part. Dentist. I'm sure. I'm sure every month when the bills come in, she she's regrets like, I'm so it. Glad. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh, great, she's great like, oh, the, the she great I'm so glad I laughed two times at today. Least I, <laughs> at least I laughed all month. <laughs> 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 all right, so you most toxic relationship you've ever been in? Uh, you know, interestingly enough, the most toxic relationship that I've been in are the ones that I'm actually not in. So all of my okay. relationships, I'm very particular. I'm a very particular. How many relationships have you had? Person. In total, I don't even like yeah. the concept of relationships, and I'll tell you why. Because the he idea is so of, vague about so talk to all of the women. And, and that's how he argues with his women, too. That's yeah. how he argues with his women. I don't even argue. This is the thing. That's the this thing. Is, See, I, I, I present so and I allow you to choose. See, like, relationships. I'm triggered so much by all the things you say. I'm like, I'm not. I feel like I'm on a date. I'm like, this is not the right person. <laughs> <laughs> the idea of a commitment is like, oh, now it becomes a choice. When men a start choice, putting their hands out like this, Oh, and showing shit. you, making their own little, their own little c- crazy ass world it's that they're like, nightmare. if you want to be a it's part a of this, that's when you run, ladies, you run. Yo, don't Dude, run don't from Tamar who does Barack this. Obama did that all the time. Every, Listen, here's every situation I've been in. Every single Lydia. person has been happy. They've grown. They Diamond feel like too. Diamond in your beneficial. face. And every girl I've ever interacted with, to be very honest, I could have married that person because they were amazing. My life would have just ended up somewhere different and that's not where I wanted my life to end up. Mm. I chose this, that's it. Other than that, the girls have been amazing. The toxicity comes from girls that I'm not in relationships with Mm. and I'm very upfront about not being in a relationship and therefore not wanting to do anything, including physical activity. And I recently had a situation where a young lady almost in a delusional sense was like, no, but I know you really want to. You're just saying that. And I'm like, listen, I am telling you up front, even though I understand that I, I am attracted to you, it is not a good idea, X, Y, Z. And she actually got into a conflict with me and l- left out crying. And I'm like, this is because I won't have sex? I don't understand. Oh, my God. You didn't have sex with her? I definitely did not. I did not. Mm-hmm. That's toxic, dude. It is you toxic. You let her on. <laughs> it is toxic. Yeah. You let her on. You're going to show your chain. You probably brought it to your show. You probably saw everyone laughing at you. Um, she's actually much more... She's much further in her career in entertainment than I am. Oh damn! So she, yeah. he, he fucks stars. I know. He be fucking stars. That's your problem. No, he's not. He's not fucking. Them. I'm not. Oh, you're not fucking. I'm that's not. the problem. You not fucked up. You fucked with their head, bro. Yeah. <laughs> you, but, but if you don't hear like everybody sex, wants. If you think sex be- begins below the neck, you're already looking the wrong direction. Clearly. It oh no. Begins in the mind. Yeah, of course. So I it know starts that. there. I know However, it was like interaction. I like to flirt. I'm a flirt. Yeah, but you're like, a big flirt. You flirt with me. I flirt. <laughs> <laughs> He's falling for it before. We were flirting. We were flirting. Yeah. We're out in the streets. You weren't because you weren't related, but I was. I was flirting. I'm, I'm trying to help him. Like, <laughs> no, my girl knows how it was yeah. in Lebanon. But we were in I'm Lebanon. Lebanon. Like, I'm a yeah. flirt. But if someone's like, hey, let's hang out, uh, it's a threat. Like, yeah. now, oh, no, it's real. I'm, yeah. I, I'm like, oh. Dude, I try fuck. to end it before it, it continues. Before it ever starts. Yeah. All right. <laughs> All right next question, guys. Uh, toxic ass motherfuckers, both of you. Um, even yeah. though you haven't released your toxicity, you're going to unleash it. You got something. Oh, I have some. Right, yeah. so, so what is the dumbest fight 
you ever been in and like oh. and, and, and and whether it was you that caused it or someone else that caused it's it. never me um yeah right it's never it's never <laughs> yeah, it's never right. the girl it's never the girl dude well, because remember, we don't ever think fights are dumb so 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 let me we let, think you're dumb yeah so so let me explain to you what i what it's i did different let me explain to you what i did my my mom was having me and my ex over for a little barbecue whatever and my mom said something to my ex-girlfriend at and she was just there like, uh, she said something. And my, my ex got bothered by it. She was just there like, uh, as we were driving back home, she was like, did you hear what your mom said? Like, for example, I don't know if this is true, but I'm like, let's say for example, she's like, did you hear what your mom said about my coat? Like, bitch, I got the shit at Ross. Like, you know what I mean? Like, like and, and then like, when she said, bitch, I got the shit at Ross, I'm over here like, Triggered. She called your mom a bitch. Yeah. Bitch. Even you, though you I took know, it personal, even, even though, though she's saying it like a she's funny, saying it like, 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 I'm trying to be like, right, right. like, I'm like, did you just call my mom a bitch? That's a thing, though. That's a real Dude, yeah. I, I got, I got like a whole, so like, bad. and I knew, I knew how she meant it. Of course. But I, I already, I just wanted to, just, I wanted her to cry. And how, how long did that? It fight? lasted so much yeah. where I was just like, no, she started that crying. He broke up and got married. <laughs> <laughs> He said in retaliation. She started crying, dude. It was a different To the girl. point where she called my mom without me telling. My mom didn't even know what happened. Yeah. Like, but she felt so bad. She felt, like, she th- I, cause I think Aww. I told her, I was like, I don't know what you said, but I didn't tell mom. You said. totally, so, you. The national guy, I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm, and she's like, hello? And my mom's like, what? what? You call me a bitch? <laughs> <laughs> then my mom was like, yeah, I'm happy. And your mom doesn't get the, <laughs> like the yeah, bitch, yeah, you know? And my mom is over here telling my wife now, like, I'm happy you left it. She called me a bitch. <laughs> that's a real thing shit. though yeah, yeah, yeah like i can call my mom a whore but if you call my mom a whore, yeah like yeah, we're no, fighting. but she was but, saying it funny but, yeah. yeah so like that's my toxic shit right there like, yeah I'll, I'll fight like if she cries me i'm like i want to i want to see you cry more yeah so what's I'm your trying what, to think of um you can go ahead first if you yeah, like, go okay. ahead okay so this is a situation that my friends bring up and i think it's interesting but it's just who i am as a person mm-hmm. so my friends bring to my attention that there's this very attractive girl who is IG popping, who's interested in me. Are and they, they all like, stars hang out. for you? And I, I prefer just being me. Like, <laughs> I prefer so, just being around celebrities. So the, it's not even that. <laughs> it's so just then, me. She's an IG girl. She's very What does that mean? Like, a, she just has a she's lot of followers? Very and she's very popular and she's very attractive. Okay. And she's photogenic. But thankfully, she's, she's also good looking in real life. Mm-hmm. Okay? Okay. So we meet up. We just meet up because I'm not a date, let's go on a date. It's like, let's meet up. We're talking, it's fun. And then that weekend, this is pre-COVID, I was supposed to go shoot in Puerto Rico. So she's like, let's, why don't we get together this weekend? I'm like, oh, I'm going to Puerto Rico. And she was like, oh, you should take me with you. Ha ha ha. Oh. And I was like, mm. oh. like, I'm going to Puerto Rico for work. And I throw that out first. Yeah. Like, I'm yeah. like, I'm working, I don't right. do that. Just because even if it's a joke, there's something behind it, right? So well, she's yeah, like, I'm joking unless you're going to do it. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. If you want to fly me there, I'm not going to say no. Unless you're going to do it. Exactly. Yeah. So I said, mm, no, and I bring up how it's work, and I explain it now. Then she goes, it's okay. She's, like, laughing, and she's like, I don't have my passport anyway. Now, I could have just let that slide. I could have let it slide and been like, okay, cool. Huh? But I was like, er, why do you think you need a passport? And she's like, oh, I just haven't gotten renewed. I was like, yeah, but I'm... I'm going to Puerto Rico. She, you don't need a passport to go to Puerto Rico. And she's like, why? It's overseas. I was like, it's over AC, but it's not <laughs> a foreign I country. I didn't know that. It's part of the United States. <laughs> I was like, mm-hmm, of course she needs so a passport. You're so mad. You're not mad about it. Like, just, uh, I didn't know. know. Puerto because Rico I'm not smart, I, I'm not good with geography. Sorry. So Puerto Rico, and she was like, well, His they maps on this. Puerto oh. Rican. <laughs> yeah, I'm drawing maps. You're drawing. I'm like, I can you give me these <laughs> maps? She's like, Puerto Rican. And I was like, well, if you're from Hawaii, they call you Hawaiian. And we had to Google it and Wikipedia it and show her and explain to her and express what a territory is and how Washington, <laughs> D.C. is a territory. You went through all that. Were. Just all that. That was like, we hung out for like 30, 40 minutes. <laughs> Those the were your dates. That part <laughs> took out an hour. That was like an hour and a half of like expressing and explaining what Puerto Rico is. Okay. Ah. Fast forward to I'm back. She's like, hey, you're back. I'm like, yeah. She's like, why don't you come over tonight? And I left her just, I didn't respond. She's like, question mark, question mark. I was like, look, I don't think this is going to work out. She's like, what? I was like, I'm going to come over and, and we're going to have sex. And it's going to be amazing. And you look like the type of girl that's going to get pregnant. And here's the problem. We're going to have a kid because you're going to want to keep it. 
and my kid's gonna grow up and lose on Jeopardy because his whore mom doesn't know where Puerto Rico is. Oh, oh my I can't God. do it. Yeah. I can't do uh, it. Uh, that's so not, toxic. Not that is so toxic. I need toxic. to prevent this now. What the fuck? Oh my gosh. That's the way I feel. I feel like you read into that too much. Tara, I'm gonna go. Like that's how, but that's how if small things are indicative of larger things. That's why I'm I'm very careful. I want to procreate. I'm gonna procreate with a tall girl. What? My kid's not supposed that's to play smart. varsity basketball because you're that's short, smart. bitch. No. I if I was a guy, I short. would. I'm short, <laughs> like, and I'm I like, mean, I wouldn't have picked me work. for sure. So what is? Uh, I mean, I mean, why why don't you just? Why do all that? I mean, why don't you say I can't come over? Yeah, why, why <laughs> because, do the whole Puerto Rico because thing? I express, because I explain. At least with me, you never have to question. Do where I'm really, if you're a nice were you guy. Looking for a scapegoat, though. <laughs> it's, it's, were you it's looking not. for no scapegoat? I feel like you. Re- that's like that. That went so far. Yeah, Thankfully, you're trying to find Jessica's a reason. You're trying to find ways, a reason. Or you, I'm off Jessica too. But like, you wouldn't I have known. But you wouldn't have known that. Exactly. I don't know anything with you. Oh, dude. No, I just like. I'm, I need. You're I need Intellectual. Exactly. I'm you're Aquarius, dude. All the way through, too. Same way, dude. My girlfriend turns me on with a brain. What do you need? That's just the way it is. What about you, Jessica? Okay, I thought I'm one of our Your man turns you on with his finances? Um, what? I'm just saying, your man turns you on with his finances? Um, of course. <laughs> all right, all right, the, what else? What the else? dumbest fights um, is when One of the dumbest Jessica fights is... Got them, and then IRS came and arrested him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, sorry. Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, right, he takes care of that so that I don't, that yeah. doesn't happen. Oh, um, fuck. So one fight man. we got in that was so stupid, which I still think is valid, is we get in fights over chores because that's what happens when you get married and you're just chores. living chores yes doing shit do you do chores do you I'm, help so yeah. you you guys just yeah. don't you don't have like a like a, a helper or anything no one no you guys have a maid sorry <laughs> yeah the maid her name <laughs> is jessica no, like no? Okay. this guy he's like you i don't know like i don't helper. know what you're saying you <laughs> mean you're made you get in fights with your maid yeah. Wait, what you does clean? that mean <laughs> we always get in fights over shit and like this one was about the vacuum I have a very certain way of vacuuming with a very certain attachment at the end. He's he doesn't he doesn't know what a vacuum is, but you know, he's, all, he's like I think that's the thing vacuum, that she holds. Vacuum is my is your Puerto Rico. <laughs> yes, <vacuum>? yes. <laughs> You're like where is that at? Where do you? Fuck, <laughs> dude. At, I mean, we've gotten the he, like we've gotten in so many fights over this fucking vacuum because he chooses to do it with like this big. The big attachment, which you never get the corners, you never get like in between things yeah. to like pick shit up, and right. he will and he will he but refuses to use it. Up. It doesn't matter. You're missing so much shit, so that I'm just gonna vacuum right after you. Uh-huh. And then he, we literally got to the point where he's like, we're testing it, we're walking around and seeing what it's picking up. So we're doing our own little. <laughs> experiment like we'll put something on the floor and we're like does it in the corner is that serious? and then he's that like is- it's so serious and like <laughs> it's so funny to think of but at the time we're heated you know when you're like at a 10 and you're like yeah. this is dumb if someone were to be filming us and we're like no did it pick it up <laughs> did that attachment even pick up that crumb no it didn't that's why you use the little so ridiculous Did you guys ever get physical no 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 never he's never like you? No. Yo. What? Have you pushed you your? Ever throw a pillow in your face? Oh my God, no. Has yours? No. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Renee, if you he has help, like scratches Renee, down his it. face. He's like, uh uh-uh. twice. No, yeah, like, he looks really scared when he said that. He's no, like, but have you no, ever? No, no, yesterday. Okay, let me tell you guys. Yesterday, um, yesterday was just like you know. Uh, okay, let, let, let me let me get to that. But there's a part for that. Okay, so let me before I get to that shit. Okay. Uh, what are some red flags uh, for you guys in the relationship? Like now that you guys have been in some career training, like like when you see it, you don't even spend a whole month with this person. You're like, this is just, this is so bad. I, I mm-hmm, can't go mm-hmm. forward with this. He's okay. such a red flag. <laughs> yeah, this is red. <laughs> the way flag. that Tara, I don't know why he's dressed in black. But the way that he the best time in your life. Yes, well, you're this so is so it's amazing. This you is true. I believe that. I think you're. So, your that's that's what you call the best friend. You don't work in finance. You're like the cool. <laughs> he's like the cool friend to have, but you shouldn't ever date uh, him. I love the date. I love, I'm the best date. Like, I love. If, I expand. If your it wasn't for Tara, Lebanon would be so boring for me. Yes, but you're not dating him. Oh, uh, it was. I was dating. In Lebanon, Lebanon, we were dating. You, you were dating. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Lebanon, Renee would go to his room like, all right, well, good night. Like he would come, he would come forward eighty percent. I was like, good night, Tehran. He would get no. on his tippy toes. I think like two phones. 
That's a huge red flag. Really? If a dude has two phones, you have. That is, that I is. already know he, he has. Like, he has you like, have two phones. How many phones you got, Tara? If a dude has two got? phones, you got, we're he, done. You got like three cars. You think he's not gonna have two phones? You have three cars? More. I have more. See, he, <laughs> I've only seen three. This is yeah. If I, if you just keep talking, I'll point out more of my red flags that I've forgotten. But you've already when the the hand with the the that whole thing that was. You have a lot. We can't wait for your red flag. You seem to have a lot because a lot of women. She had a red flag with a. His red flag was not I'm, knowing where okay, Puerto Rico. Okay, okay. I haven't got to a point in <laughs> like, my, I haven't, I haven't, I haven't got to a point in my life where I'm like Tehran yet. But eventually, like when the money really comes in, I'm just gonna be like, I'm gonna be in cool shit like this. And I love his, and that's what my girl loves about me. There, there's what, actually that you hope that to have that. What does that, that, that no, mean? No, the confidence, the the, the the fact that I'm like all about myself. You'll be of. cultured. Do you I'm remember about how my, cultured you were yeah. when you came back from Lebanon? That's what I'm saying. Like she was over here, like. Uh, this guy's really, I, I've never dated someone that's so bad, but I love it. So you don't. What? You don't love someone like no, that. No, I'm saying a red flag would be like a person who answers those questions like, oh, you don't need to know, you don't need to know about oh. that. <laughs> don't worry about that. I've been here. Let okay, me tell you, if flag. you and me are here, <laughs> no, who makes the little maps and then creates their own weird world, <sighs> and then if you want to be in this world, you're going to have to do some weird shit to oh, even be around. That is so Tehran. Yes, so and I'm just remembering my red flags as he speaks. Right, so I'm right. like, uh huh, uh huh. Uh -huh. Right, red, red, red flags for you, Tara. Red okay, so you. some red flags. Let's go over some red flags. <laughs> Number one, <laughs> if your girl has a rose and or butterfly tattoo, she's toxic as fuck. Oh. Let her go. It's not gonna happen. Yeah. And we if she that. has like a back tattoo now, not before when we didn't know what a tramp mm. stamp was. Mm. Just <laughs> like understand now that was a choice. That, that was something she decided now. That's red flag for me too. That's a red flag. That's, that's red a flag. real red flag. Like, oh, okay. it's about my growth. Nah, no. you're done. Um, if a girl is posting on Facebook and she's older, she's in her 30s or something, and she's talking about how crazy he is, Bitch, we believe you. That is a red flag. Let she's it go. She's older. She's in her 30s. Hey, Carol, <laughs> you're, you're 42. What? <laughs> Get therapy already. Like, we're just not going to believe you. Like, let it go. Um, Dude. Another red flag. Not knowing Puerto flag. Rico. Not knowing Puerto Rico. <laughs> a red flag. If I'm in the car and I and a Drake song comes on and a girl gets too excited or enthusiastic and is like, oh, my God, I love this song. That's a red flag for me. Why? First of all, you got too happy. You got too happy about Drake. We might be at Drake's house one day, and I can't trust you. Oh so that God. is a red flag for me. Oh, yeah, that's true. These that are very, these flag. are very specific. Tehran's red life, flag. though. Tehran's life. He might be at. Drake's but that's house I'm just saying. But that's only thing. a red flag, literally for him, that. because that's, that's a possibility. That's what he has in his red flag. I know, but it's just such a crazy it's red flag. It's not a red flag. Listen, like everybody. this girl has no idea she's stepping. She listens to Drake. No. Like red here. flags to me seem like every like individual All of us may here have on that. On the stage right now are going to be in positions, either in the near future or even yeah. in the distant future, yeah. where you are going to be around yeah. all the A list because you're in there 100%. too. To be there, to 100%. be very honest. Sure, but getting excited about a song is different than like not knowing how to act in front of that celebrity. No, right? yeah. see, here's I mean, the problem. What do you say? We, we're in LA. So if you lived in Idaho and a girl's like, oh, oh my God, Leonardo DiCaprio, he's my crush. I love him. I'd get a pass if I sleep with him. Uh, if I ever meet him. Yeah. So Idaho in LA, that just means your girl is fucking Leonardo DiCaprio. Yeah. He's down, he's downstairs and outside right. of his Prius that's my, right that's now. That's me with my girl and Bad Bunny. That's what I'm saying. Bad <laughs> Bunny's going to move up. Like Renee has, there's a chance. Hey, I hate Bad Bunny. <laughs> yeah. She That's told me she thing. was just there like, because oh, uh, she asked me one time, who's your celebrity like past? And I'm over here like, uh, Kylie Jenner. And she's over here like, oh, mine's Bad Bunny. And that's a real And I got thing. mad about that. Like, what that girl? She looks like she's in a Bad Bunny video now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. your girl's hot. Yeah, and Renee's going to be cool so, with Bad Bunny. He's so mad right Renee's now. Renee's going to be cool with Bad Bunny, and now he can't be. You think Maluma can oh, hang out with Renee? I hate Bad Bunny. You think oh. Maluma can hang out with Renee right now? Never. <laughs> Never. <sighs> Uh, your red flag? Did you did you have any? I, I the said one? it. Oh, yeah, you said Tehran it. is the red flag. Tehran. All the things that he said. Tehran is the red the flag. The two phones, and then he had, you right. have like three, right. two phones. All right, <laughs> that's bad. That's pretty bad. Yeah. That's pretty bad. All right, so so what is uh we have another uh question here, uh what is your toxic behavior, as far as like, because I know I know we're all toxic, right? Yeah. Like like. No matter what toxic shit you've been in, no matter like what toxic you like, you can blame it on the other person, dude. I am the toxic one in my relationships, as well as my girl is somewhat the toxic one. I'm pro I'll probably say I'm more toxic than her, 
But we, we kind of got mutually this mutual feeling like, you know what? It's no, fine. No, no one going to deal with our bullshit. Nobody right. else really. Right. I mean, that probably is, but I don't want no one else to deal with my bullshit. I want her to do mine and she'll do mine and we'll fix it together. Well, that's right? every relationship. Yeah, right? yeah. It, but it's like, I'm but trying to make it like, better. what's your specific toxic my, thing my, that you My do? toxic behavior that I haven't uh, said in the other episodes, I have very many toxic <laughs> behaviors. <laughs> You have so many uh, episodes, yeah, so you many, can keep going. Yeah, You're yeah, fine. I have a lot of, uh, I have a lot of talk, but uh, the toxic behavior right now is the sex, uh, right? Like, uh, my, I'm a pleaser. I'm a pleaser. Uh, so the, toxic. Uh. This is, I know. This is like when you do an, you, yeah. you go on an interview this and you're like, um, my worst thing about me is that I, uh, I, work too hard I care too no, much no, no, about. Listen, yeah. no, listen, no, no, no. And I'm a perfectionist. I just uh, love pleasing people. I do. I love pleasing. It's just like. No, but that's a real thing. I want I her to come a lot of times. That's how you get turned on. Is yes. Like you're the one responsible <laughs> for her pleasure. Yes. And, I, and I'm telling it's you. It's an alpha I, quality. And, and, it's I, and, alpha and quality. I tell her all the time, like, I'm not going to, I'm not, I don't like coming unless you come too. Yeah, that's a real thing. So it's just like, uh, so it's like uh, I would I would be there and it's like I want her to just be dead at the end, you know? Like that's my goal. Sure. Right. And it's just like th- there's times when a woman just can't do that, right? And I don't I didn't I didn't really I knew that but I didn't I I've never. It's your ego. Yeah. 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 Some over here like why aren't you coming? So you get mad. And then but I'll what's stop. What's your toxic I'll stop. behavior? I, that's what I'm saying. I'll stop. Oh, you just like walk I'm away like, or something? I'm, no, I'm just I'm like you don't want this. You don't let me do it. And oh, she'd be like, you, stop, baby. Oh, it feels hilarious. good. Yeah. It feels uh, No. So she has to You fake haven't it. came. She has to fake The vibrator's there, and I'm in here at the same time. You're not coming. <laughs> he goes in time out. He goes <laughs> like, I, dude, I swear to God, to the point where we start arguing now, and it gets bigger, and then now, yeah. and then we finish the argument, and I, and I still want to have sex, because I'm obviously on blue balls mode. So I'm over here like, now she doesn't want to have sex. So right. now I'm over here like, oh, so now I'm going Yeah, because when, yeah. when girls and guys get mad, girls don't want to have sex no more. Guys all of a sudden want to like, have then more they sex. It's like, yo, Bro, you missed your chance. That's my toxic behavior, though. Like, that's one of my toxic is during sex. If she's not, if I hey, any any inch of like she's not satisfied, I'm pissed. I can understand that. Pissed. Yeah. I can understand that. I mean, you're gonna have to work through that eventually because not only that, but especially when you're using toys sexually, it'll create a desensitization, especially if you're doing it every single time. So you're gonna have to just. Kind I feel of like Taron has like a lot of knowledge. He said, "Okay, can Doesn't you explain that? Like, Do I gotta stop like using the toy? Is that a thing we should bring up once in a while? You should not. I like so the toy the because it's like, oh my god, she's getting maximum. You know when everything. you're a kid and you get ice cream, yeah. and it makes you so happy. But then as you grow, you're like, I can just get ice cream whenever I want. So now you need more. You're not getting right. toy the tonight, babe. The same thing is, if you're doing it, se- <laughs> if you do it, and we see this sexually, and it creates sexual dysfunction through. Pornography is like if I see pornography now it has to keep getting yeah, it's more, more, then more, more extreme you need and more, more. extreme. Right? That's yeah. the human condition. It's the curse of the more. And now if you're doing this every time, you're gonna just need more. And I'm not saying it's not great. What I'm saying is, you are great. setting this bar. <laughs> you're setting this bar, and then when you don't come up to your collective bar, you're you're feeling failure. But it's a bar you've set, and also one that yeah. you've created. Yeah, I, I, I feel that. Mm. Okay, so we're not gonna use it. No more. You should like abstain. It's kind of like. <laughs> You know, if you masturbate too much, sex doesn't feel as good. That's true. That is true. I've, I've been in a situation yeah. where I was masturbating way too much and sex just didn't sex feel was good. Just like, you couldn't nothing. come from yeah. sex. I couldn't come as you much to come as I wanted to. Yeah. I'm over here like, oh, yeah. I just like to please people. Russell Brand <laughs> talks about it. Yeah. It's, it's actually a real it's yeah. really yeah. interesting phenomenon. Yeah, yeah. I've read like that makes sense. a couple Masters and Johnson's detailed books on this. It's very interesting. Oh, it's all good. See, this is toxic. The fact that he knows all this that shit. I read he's, a really, lot. he's a lawyer, by the way. Is he? I have a master's in economics and a law degree, yeah. Okay, I could see that. So you fucked up marrying financing. He should no, no, no. Channel. Finance was the right one. Finance. <laughs> well, you, you don't work. You guys finance need a, vacuum. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. You understand? The fact that I'm going to hook y'all up on the show. I say he's like, yeah, On the show, we're going to hook them up. <laughs> yeah. He doesn't <laughs> vacuum correctly is the problem. Yeah. He's an amazing person. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's, that's his biggest issue. I would just like buy a new house. He didn't fucking vacuum. We're moving. This okay, I, you remote. guys let me give an example. That was just one. <laughs> right? No, 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 no. Okay, so what? Uh, oh. What is your toxic behavior? I have so many. You're toxic. I have so many things. Oh, I don't of course. Think just because that toxic, to be honest. I, just I have a lot of things. She's toxic. I do have a lot of things. I have a lot of like. Is the minimal. I it's mean, minimal when it comes. To I try to keep it, you know, contained. China. But Rob he doesn't bring it China. out in me. Well, because you I, hang around a lot of white. You hang around a lot of white people. Do I hang around? 
I grew up with a lot of white people. Yeah, so the toxicity, the toxicity. But my family is enough to because white people, that off. Yeah, white people so, aren't, aren't that toxic. Well, you sure, can tell a guy, yeah, oh, you can tell sure. a white guy, I need space. He'll give you two weeks space. You yeah, tell that's me, very you true. need space. You, you have two hours. You have two no, hours, bitch. Oh, you trail her. <laughs> you so trail her, bro. That's so true. I have a location right yeah. now. <laughs> That's, That's a real so thing. great. I don't um, think you're. The, I, I, I'm not. I. I. I think you're. I, ha, I is, for sure have things. I. I get. Like what? Like when we get in arguments or whatever. Like I'm a runner. I like to run. Sure. I like to just. Which is not. That's not good. Like you're supposed to stay. But do you and, come back? He has to come get me. Oh, so you're just yeah. running Wait, like so Forrest Gump? You're running like, like Forrest Gump? I'm in Arizona, to that baby. Point where he's like getting over doing that, and I'm like, what will I do now? So, so he he has to go get you while you're running. Not like, I'm not like, no, I'm not like physically run, not, not, oh, oh. Like, oh. No, I will walk off. away. But that's what I'm saying. You close right. off. You're, like, you're no, I'm going for a run, bitch. No. The fine. The fine. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Fine, whatever. He he he's like, get yo, me. he's got to put on his running shoes to find you? No. <laughs> you're like, you're like, um, I will walk away or I'll like, I want to be alone. Like, I need like a minute. I can't he's, do that. I would, not not, give, I would never give you that. Do you know that? And that's what my, I'll be like, no. My yes, it's toxic for me. Oh, for sure. And then he immediately comes. But there's times where he won't come to get me, that's and like, I'm like, the fuck? That's what I'm wolf. saying. You cried wolf. That's why. That's you what, cried wolf. Like, where that's is why he? I don't leave, because it's like eventually you're going to start thinking that. Yeah, I know. We're wolf. getting to like, that. Like, We're no. getting to the point it's, where he's like, it's the, I'm go run have away, your, go have fun. And then mom is like, then run away then. Yeah. Right. You but I don't know what else to do, because I'm like, this is what we do. Because he's rich. You know what you should do? You're so stupid. We are not rich. Have you ever tried, I was reading this book. It's a technique. It's very interesting. It's whenever you have a conflict. Uh, it's very, it's relatively new. It's called communicate, and it's actually <laughs> very crazy. Very the, crazy. The best part is you've been saying like really cool shit, so that one really tricked me. Yeah. I was like waiting uh, for. I was like, oh okay. Just communicate. Just Thanks. be open and honest, <laughs> this, dude. and realize a lot of times like that epitaph of, but did you die? Like a lot of times, a lot of your yeah, problems but you haven't been in a marriage, yeah. so shit like keeps going. Like sure. we have, we're in couples yeah. therapy where exactly. we like sit. And we tell a person all this stupid shit, and then they're like, "Okay, exactly, well." Exactly. Well, look, guys, fucking, you're 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 toxic. I mean, no, okay. So my toxic trait. I, no, because we we already heard it. I need. Some <laughs> well, what's your toxic <laughs> trait? I'm, I'm, He's like holding a red. No, here's the thing. I'm very particular. <laughs> if you understand the algorithm that is Tehran, I'm easy to figure out. However, Tehran again. There goes to the Tehran I'm again. I'm simple, She's but I'm not brandy. easy. I'm simple, but not easy, and that's toxic, to. Women. No, all men say they're simple, and that's like simple. that's such a cop out. I hate that shit. Yeah. Yeah. I'm simple. Well, you're annoying you're not, as look shit. Look at you're wearing a robe. I'm, <laughs> you're not simple. I'm simple. You're not I'm simple. simple. I'm in a robe. You're I'm not chill. simple. See? Well, you're, 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 you're wearing a chain and a hat with your nice. Look at your ring. Look at your ring. I clean up nice. You're not simple. I clean up nice. You're not simple. We went through the airport in 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 Qatar. the best. In the biggest shoes ever. With all these chains. Fluffy shoes, simple. and I felt great. I was simple. I was comfortable. It's simple to Anyways, him. guys, we got to wrap this up. We're going to move on to the Patreon <laughs> section of this podcast. Please make sure you like and subscribe. You guys want to plug your shows on the Instagram? You guys think you're coming up? I'm doing a birthday show with Renee Vaca, January 30th. If there you're not go. there, you're not there. You're not there. You're not there, you're not there. When's the show that we're doing? Oh, this is this is Saturday. Saturday. You can do the birthday show, too. I'll do whatever. I want to just You want to plug your stuff? <laughs> Uh, Jay Keenan comedy. Jay Keenan comedy. Jay stands for Jessica. Uh, I am Tehran all across the board. I am Tehran. All right, guys. Well, thank you guys for listening to Toxic Podcast. Please make sure you tune in to the Patreon section to hear some other stuff that we're going to unleash that we were too uncomfortable to say on the podcast, guys. <laughs>